Core. All right. So you're good so far, right? Yes. So, so far, uh, since I'm recording this video a little bit late, we've covered a candlestick chart. Uh, we're covering candlestick charts and what they mean. So far, we've gone over what a candle looks like um, and it's open and closed purpose and like what it means exactly. So a green candle opens from the bottom, closes at the top. The wick is at the high. This is the highest price that it reached in that time frame. This is the lowest price that it reached in that time frame. And here, same thing. It just closed lower than the last candle. Um, black and red bodies. These just kind of bounce from one to another. The red means that it closed. And if you look closely here, it opened literally at the same rate at where it closed. So green pushes up closes it hit this high push back down closed this picks up here started off green but then it went back down all the way down and then it ended up going and closing back up here but even though it went back up it closed hot lower than the last green candle okay so same thing here this one picks up where this closed off drops down and because it's lower than the last candle it is a red candle showing bear sentiment now this is one that I showed you the reason why this is green and it looks very close and it would be confusing like why is this green well if you look close this closed because price action when a red set candle opens at top closes at the bottom here the price action moved down and then it moved back up and then it kind of come back down but it closed just above this last red candle so it's green and it creates bullish signal hold on let me close the door so i can what So we were just covering that. I started recording late, and I kind of wanted to just fill in the recording for uh, for the rest of you guys. Um, but yeah, they the candles just hop from one to another, and they um, basically show the price action. So I'll cover just quickly a little bit of, of the anatomy, just if you don't mind, man, uh, Diego. Is that okay? <clears throat> just, yeah, it'll be a quick recap yeah, okay. as well for to help you. So. Opening price is the first price at which security or asset is traded during a specific time frame, such as day, hour, or minute. Um, the price reflects the sentiment or the emotion of a trader in the beginning of that time period. It's where the market started trading during that time period. That's the opening of the price. Opening of the price would be uh, down here, would be here. So the opening of the price is the first price at which a security is traded during that time so the very first price during that time frame of one hour is twenty six thousand five hundred seventy two dollars that's the opening price it pushes down and closes after going down a little bit pushes back up and closes at twenty six four eighty then this literally picks up i drew a line here literally picks up where this left off it started to go down, which originally would have been a red candle, but the bulls pushed it up, creating a close because green candles open at the bottom and close at the top, and it closed higher than the close of the red candle. All right, so on and so forth. This one's very tiny, but if you open it up, it closes higher than this one, and so on and so forth now we've got a green and a red let's draw a line this literally picks up together the same spot <clears throat> let me make it thicker just a little bit and because this price action did go up a little bit it could have been green if it closed there but bearish action which are sells, basically people just selling their Bitcoin, push the price down. 
and as they sell the price goes down and it closes so a red candle it could be green or red the price will always start where it left off before so instead of moving up and move down and closed lower than where this closed creating a red candle this one being very small and then and when you have these small thin candles it's a signal of indecision which means that there's a potential outbreak to come and I'll show you more on uh, middling wicks with candlesticks in the middle right in between a wick which would look like a cross those are your most significant candlesticks to look for for biggest movement in either direction there are things that you can use like indicators uh, MACD such and such down here that will help you decide but let's go ahead and get back into what we were talking about um, with wicks. So <clears throat> we covered the body of a candle, uh, which is the rectangular area between the open and close. The body is filled in color, uh, usually green or red. Uh, for bullish would be green. Um, and old, like I was explaining to Diego earlier, it was white back in the day and black because that's just what they had. They didn't have colored monitors. Um, significance is the body provides a visual representation of price movement during the time period so the color of the body quickly conveys whether buyers or sellers had the upper hand so the body the entire body is all inside the rectangle okay so this is the body right this is the body all this right here okay these are the wicks Again, <clears throat> if we go here and I grab this, this right here is the body, everything here. Everything outside is the wicks, all right? So that shows the entire um, price action within the body of the open and the close. Now these wicks, they show the total movement besides what has actually opened because the body is the open and close but what happened in between is the wicks and that shows the total price action it dropped down moved back up such and such so let's go back to understanding candles and move on to wicks uh, the definition the uh, of a of the range of a definition of uh, okay so we covered wicks now we're on to range so definition the range of a candlestick is the difference between the high and low prices during that time period the range provides insight into the volatility of the asset during the period a larger range indicates higher volatility while a smaller range suggests a lower volatility. Um, how can I explain? So a full candlestick, the full candlestick includes all the components mentioned above, open price, close price, body, wicks, and range. Uh, let me, let's see, we can say, um, what is a range on a candlestick? So the range on a candlestick is the difference between the highest and the lowest price of a candle it is calculated by taking the price at the top of the upper wick and subtracting it from the price at the bottom of the lower wick that is the range the distance between the top of the upper shadow and the bottom of the lower shadow the body of a candlestick represents the price range of the chosen asset from the open to the close of a trading time frame while the wick or shadow above or below the body represents the high and low price respectively. Uh, let's see if I can zoom in here. Um, but yeah, I mean, the range is basically the highest and lowest price of a candle. That's its range, is basically the body as well. So this is its range. <clears throat> now, a full candlestick. The full candlestick includes all the components above, open price, close price, body, wicks, and range. A full candlestick visually encapsulates the price action during the specific time period. 
Traders analyze multiple candlesticks in succession to identify patterns and trends. You know what succession means? No. Let's look it up. Succession definition. Succession, the number of people or things sharing a specified characteristic and following one of after the other, the action or process, the right or sequence of a position, and so on. So it's kind of like succession would be like in order, like things that are happening one after another in succession of each other. Um, candlestick time frame. Candlestick charts can be constructed for various time frames such as daily, hourly, or minutes. The choice of time frame affects the granularity of the data. Let's look at granularity because like that can be a little confusing sometimes. The quality or condition of being the scale or level of detail present in a set of data or other phenomena on the scale or level of detail. So um, the scale of the data. Shorter time frames like five minute charts show more detailed price movement, while long, longer time frames like daily charts provide a broader perspective of market trends. <clears throat> so, sorry, hold on one second here. So, uh, blah, 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 blah. okay, anyways, understanding candlestick anatomy allows traders to assess market sentiment, identify potential reversals or continuations, and make informed trading decisions based on the visual cues provided by these components. By analyzing multiple candlesticks in a sequence, traders can gain valuable insight into market dynamics and price patterns. Now, a long green body definition, a candlestick with a long green body signifies a period in which the closing price is significantly higher than the opening price. So let's find a long green body. Oh, like this one. This one's huge. So if we look like all these candles, they're kind of small, right? Compared, which means the price didn't move too much. But here in this one hour, there might have been some big news or something happened. I don't I don't know. Or maybe a big person came in and they bought like $5 million of Bitcoin or $50 million and it just, boom, shot up the price. Um, eight, it shot up the price for almost $400, $300 in price. That's, that's a lot of movement for Bitcoin by one candlestick. So there was somebody bought and then somebody else might have seen that it went up quick and more people started buying because they think oh shit it's about to go up 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 but what happens is when you get all that buy pressure and you know what i don't want to complicate things but i do want to show you a little bit about what i mean when i say buy and sell pressure because that can be a little confusing in a way and I want to show you what I mean and where all this shit comes from because like they just look like candlesticks and that's what they are but in the end <clears throat> they all come from this and I'll show you let's go ahead and log in Oh, I gotta authenticate because I'm using my VPN. Do you have a VPN yet? Yes, I have one. What do you use? Uh, North North VPN. North, North VPN, good, good. Uh, if you're ever running out or running low, uh, whenever you're about to run out, let me know. I can send you over a subscription. You'll get three months free, and um, yeah, it'll help you out with saving money and stuff. Um, let's Thank you. see. Yeah, of course. Anything from my favorite student. <laughs> um, so we're going to look at buy and sell pressure on Bitcoin. And what I mean by that. <clears throat> so there's spot trading and there's future trading. What we do as investors is called spot trading so we're buying on the spot we're buying it to hold or invest 
or to maybe sell at a higher price. The goal with investing in spot trading is to never sell lower than what we bought it at. Futures traders, you can trade the market up or down. You can sell or buy, buy your position to go down or you can long, shorting and long, so you can long buy your position to go up and you can add leverage and stuff like that. Um, oh, okay. But as a spot, I wanted to show you the order book. So this is the order book. And this is what creates the pressure. Oops. I wanted to zoom in so you could see. The pressure, right? So look. This is where all of the candlesticks are created right here. At, And they're constantly moving. And you know what? Let me take a... Uh, I'm going to take a screenshot so we can actually look at it without it moving so much and then we're going to look at the screenshot on a separate page we'll go ahead and close that that was the daily lesson i'll save it lesson of the day um Thanks, Training Academy. Lesson of the day. I don't know what it was on. What was it? Oh, uh, Schiller's. Okay. So we're going to do a new document. And then we're going to put the order book in here. And we're going to zoom in. So if you look. There is. Now Bitcoin. Because of its price there's and it's so much money is invested into bitcoin and we can actually look at that after how much is invested in total but there's a lot of money in bitcoin so when people are buying and selling bitcoin it's typically not in small amounts they're taking profits they're losing money People are scared right now because I did see a video on Bitcoin that had just crossed the 50 over the 200 day moving average. And the last five times in history that that's happened, the price has dropped anywhere from 27 to 75 percent. So people are expecting the market to drop down to around 15,000 or lower with Bitcoin. So there might be a lot of sell pressure, but at the same time. All that market analysis stuff is nonsense. But this is where it's not nonsense, but you know, it's hard to predict. But this is where the candlesticks come from. Okay. So this is the order book. This is people having set a limit order. So instead of like if we go back, I closed Maxi, but if we go back to it. Uh, I don't have any money uploaded onto it right now, but I can show you uh, how that works. So you can, instead of placing a market order, I highly recommend when you make an order to buy it in a limit because you can get screwed over by spread. And that's something we'll call, talk about later. It's a little more complicated. But what you can do, and, and you've seen it before, it says limit. You probably always do market, right? When you buy to be honest with you i just buy it at that price right that it's on and i don't log off until it's my orders are 100 percent complete and i would just cancel and then just do that the price is at right now and buy again so sometimes is, it won't get filled i would have to cancel and do the buy again stuff like that so when you so is it on limit when you do that yeah okay that's good, but when you do that, it sets a price for you at where it's at right now. Um, exactly. You, which is good, okay, because it keeps you from being deterred by the spread. Now, what I would recommend is look at the price movement, right? This is the five minute, and you can see that it's moving up and down, right? And it's moving in a downward trend. I would have set the price at like, 26 for 85 you know because it's already gone way down under 480 you know you're gonna get hit there you'll save a little bit of money 
change the price a little bit. Go save yourself a little bit of money. You know, you're not. It's gonna hit as long as you don't set the difference too low. Um, sometimes you'll set an automatic order for a limit buy, and you said it won't get hit. That's because you set it and the price goes up instead of where you set where it goes down. So, um, you know, limit orders can be tricky, uh, but it saves you money because what happens with the market order is that the spread could eat you up. So like, say, for example, you do a market order of a thousand bucks at 26,494. But actually what's happening is you are buying and you're ordering out of the order book, closing the positions, making that thousand dollar purchase, covering the limit orders. So it can actually jump the price. So say you buy a market order at 26,495, but you might end up paying 26,500 on a market order because of the spread. I don't know if that makes sense. Maybe I'll make a video on that later. I didn't want to get too deep into that, but I do want to go back to the order book. So this is where candlesticks are created. At 26,482, there's a limit sell order of $90,000. Once this hits, this pushes the price down, but literally one penny off under that, once that sell goes through, there's a $485,000 buy order, which is gonna push the price up. And it's a game between buyers and sellers. And this is what they mean when they're saying buyers and sellers, you know, are, you know, going against each other, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, it's just, this is what they're talking about is this. This is total USDT in dollars, right? So in this here alone, we have about a million dollars worth of sell action. But in here, we have over $1.5 million in sell action and buy action. So right now, the price is probably stable around here. I don't see it moving up and I don't see it moving down significantly. If anything, looking from the buy order alone, I think it's going to go a little bit up, but not too much. But this is where the candlesticks are created. Does that make sense? Right. Okay. Does that help a little bit? Kind of understand. Yeah, I didn't know where they, they come from, so now I know. And now I know what what uh what you mean by they're fighting each other. Yeah, this is it. This is where this is just on Mexi, bro. They got ones. This is just on Mexi. They got ones on every single exchange. Has the same shit. They're just you know. So only on Mexi alone, we've got all of this buy orders look at all of these limit buys all the way down to 24,000 you know people ready to buy and put their money in so even if the pressure of the sell goes and pushes down you got you want to look at the order book there's not much money down here looking to buy if we look at the sells I mean, it seems very similar, the amount of money. There's a little bit more money in the cells. Like, there's a tw at 29500 there's a, a sell of uh, uh, 61000 Um, So, this is where all of that shit comes from. I just, you know, I didn't want to go on a side note, but I think it's important to understand where that's why this is this. That's where it comes from, is the order book. And it's the combined order book from all of the websites that Bitcoin is being traded on. All right. Mm -hmm. So am I boring you yet? You falling asleep? <laughs> or is this interesting? Am I explaining it well enough for you? To, is this good for you? No, yeah. So far, it's good. Um, I'm, I'm good. I got another 20 minutes of listening. So I'm good. Okay. So we're almost done with this and then we'll go into the chart a little bit and do support and resistance and I'll draw up some stuff and then we'll look at that coin that you were talking about. So oh. 
basically long green candle uh, period where significantly higher and buy the suggests that there was substantial buying pressure. So there was a lot of orders in the order book. Buyers were in control. The price moved significantly upward. Traders interpretation of this is the traders often view a long green candle as a bullish signal indicating strong demand for the asset. It may suggest that the trend is bullish and that buyers are confident. And then the red is, is just the opposite. It implicates that uh, significant selling pressure. Sellers dominated the market. Traders typically see it as a bearish signal suggesting sellers are in control. Short bodies with long wicks. This is important. A candlestick with a short body, which is that rectangular area we talked about, and a long wick, both upper and lower, signifies a period in which the opening and closing prices are close. Close. But there was significant price movement in both directions during the period. This pattern suggests that there was considerable pressure in one direction, up or down, at some point during the period, but for some reason the price was pushed back before the period's end. <clears throat> if a candlestick has a short body with a long upper wick, it suggests that there was strong selling pressure pushing the price down during that period, but buyers managed to push the price back up. Conversely, if the candlestick has a short body with a longer wick, lower wick, it implicates that there was strong buying pressure pushing the price down and during the period. Practical use. Traders use these candlestick characteristics to assess the sentiment in the market or the emotions of the market. A long green body indicates optimism and bullish sentiment, while a long red candle bodies pessimism and bearish sentiment. Short body candles with long wicks indicate indecision or reversals. They are often observed at potential turning points in the market. <clears throat> so we've gone over all of that. I guess the lesson summary for candlestick charts would be represent the same data as, as bar chart. Body indicates open to close range. Wick shows high, low range. This color signifies price direction. Highly popular among traders for quick data interpretation. Easier to spot patterns compared to line or bar charts. They're color coded. We've delved into the anatomy of candlesticks. Highlighting the significance of each component, such as the body, wicks, open, close, and the range. Understand the elements is vital for assessing market sentiment and recognizing potential trading opportunities. Blah, 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 blah. Now, let's get into... Um, let's look at that coin you were talking about. Uh, can I find it on TradingView? Uh, What's the ticker? Yeah. Ekta. E K T A. It's only on Mexi. Yes. Ooh. Okay, let's take a look here. I want to look at the all-time chart. Um. Mm, not a good sign. Not a good sign. Yeah, no, I know it's not a. It, the, the chart doesn't look good, to be honest. But like, I I got a thing with that coin that it it, it look. Literally, they're on YouTube every day on, like, doing videos and all this and that. So, they're, like, super active, bro. Interesting. So, the thing with that is you have to be careful with YouTube videos because what happens is they pay people to promote their product. And I put out... An no, they're not lesson. paying. No, they're, that's the thing. They're not paying nobody. They're, they're, there's an act of YouTube strictly like their mm. CEO talking mm. like just them not not paid chillers or nothing like that okay so I'd they're like always like to teaching you how to teaching you how to buy um real estate te teaching you tricks on real estate mm. so it's like they're always active with their active coins so they're like you know I really like that I've never seen that with a coin <clears throat> active Let's look it up a little bit and see if we can find some info. It's up 20% on the day. Oh, market cap is, is, is so small. Okay. Yep. How long has it been around? Uh, I think Since, it launched this, okay, uh, 2022 this year. 
Uh, so right it hasn't had a bull run yet. Year. It, it launched. It, actually, it launched a year. I don't know. It launched in May of 2022. So it launched at a dollar. Went up. Okay. So this is how I want to show you some stuff. Um, first of all, the market cap is super small. Now, what we want to do is we want to, I'm going to add it to my watch list. Um, the most important thing is to see the overall, see, this is the thing. When we're looking at overall charts, you want to look here at the percentage of decrease or increase over the all-time chart. Typically, when it's over 80%, it's a it's just a rug pull. And it doesn't have to necessarily be a scam, but the reason why is most likely because of the tokenomics. And when the token do you know what tokenomics are? Yes, I researched that the tokenomics yep. And I haven't. I to be honest with you, I don't even know the tokenomics to act. Uh, I should. I should have looked that up a while ago. Well, let's look, and I'll probably be able to tell you why. Let's see if we can find it. Yeah. Okay. Check this out. So. Team. Team could be basically everybody who built the product, built the crypto. Team has 13.5%. Advisors, 2.5%. Foundation, 25 Public sale is good. It's 14.8%. That's decent. Um, bridge, I don't really know what that is. Staking rewards, 20%. So they reward people for staking and holding their crypto. Liquidity pool, um, 6% centralized exchange. They save money for that marketing 6% partnerships 10% is a lot development 14% So if we take development Partnerships that's 25% marketing 30% uh, Let's just leave these out foundation and advisors 40%. So over 55% of the coins are insiders. So what happens when you have this is that oh it says bridge these tokens are reserved for the cross train bridge use pope. So what happens is you'll get let's take it even further. Ecta crypto wallet uh, holders. So you want to look at if we can find Ecta wallet holders. So the problem is this. So for example, we'll go back to the chart. So what happens is because the token because of what happened these crypto they literally got it for zero they launched it at a dollar and all if they have imagine you had 57 like it shows right here it shows right here it shows um where do we see it shit do i need to go back I don't know. Imagine having 56 million 700 tokens divided by say there's like maybe 10 people on their team. So uh, let's just say there's 10 people on the team. 56 million 700 thousand divided by 10 
That's 5,670,000 coins each. All right. From nothing. Zero. Starting at zero, 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 one. They launch. Now, the price... Uh, that's something I have to research more is if they actually get it for zero. I think they do. It does start at zero for them. And then they launch the price. So what happens is this. They launch the price. They throw their... They purchase. And the price goes up. So imagine you have 56... Okay, so no. The price is a dollar for them. So they have 56 million... Seven hundred dollars divided by each person, so fifty six five million dollars to start for each person if it's a ten person team. The price doubles almost two and a half. So imagine you have five million five and a half million dollars, and all of a sudden in one day it goes up to ten it goes up to eleven million. What are you gonna do? Sell. You're going to sell, right? Exactly. That's what happens. So they dump, and then the price goes down. And then they sold. Check this out. They sold. They took their profits. They waited for the price to drop after a couple weeks. They bought it all up again. Bought it, bought it, drove the price all the way bro look at how much money they fucking made dog i can't even almost a hundred dollars bro imagine they made 10 million they made five and a half million dollars on their first trade they went back in said they put another five million dollars into it again at fuck at this price right at this price at 40 cents check this shit out I'm gonna blow your fucking mind right now crypto profit calculator they put <laughs> this is gonna blow your fucking mind this is why they call it a scam Five million dollars. Is that five million? How many is that? Sorry. Five, one, two, three. One, two, three. Five million dollars. The crypto price is 40 cents. They bought it at the low. And they sell it. You're going to be, when I show you this, you're going to be blown away. They sold it at $85. One billion dollars. Off of a $5 million trade. So they hit that top. And they just dump. So this is a classic rug pull. It's just them buying. And just dumping. And making billions. And that's just one person. Imagine the entire market. Did that. Let me see. If it was 56 million seven hundred thousand that's eleven that's twelve billion dollars bro that they made off of this there's no future in this coin at all whatsoever and it's because they have so much allocated to the insiders that they will just manipulate the market to do whatever the hell they want and that's how they got rich. And you can see. It's just shit. It went up. Skyrocketed. They made all their fucking money. Went up and 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 up. They sold on everybody who thought, oh, this new crypto, Ecta, popping, lopping. Let's get in. People are poor. So that $12 billion dollars. What's from people like me and you, bro? We put our money in thousand, two thousand, five hundred, six hundred. You know, thousands of people put their money in, bro, and they took all of it. They just took it all because they have pre-allocated tokens. 
See what uh, I'm saying? Sh- Isn't that fucked up, bro? That's why bro, that's sh- why the SEC is so hard. That's why they, they don't want this type of shit happening, bro. This is terrible, bro. It's terrible. Imagine ones that got in. Imagine this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 zeros in a 1. Imagine you put in $5 million there. Instantly, when you do that, the price goes up to 5 You're going to be fucking shitting your pants. They keep doing this over and over again. Oh, no. That's this. Initial crypt. So then it dropped all the way down to literally nothing. They're like, let's try to make a little bit more money out of this because it's literally going to go to zero. Let's just say they put a million dollars. Let's just put a million because we're not really sure. And like it might go to zero. We've already made $12 billion. So let's just put one, two, three, one, two, three, a million dollars in at this price of literally the lowest it could possibly be. Then the price immediately jumps up. Bro, you're talking like significant amounts of money. I don't think anyone would put a million dollars in. They'd probably put like 50,000 at that price. But that's like, you're talking trillions at that point. You know, so like, it's hard to imagine, but this is actually happening, okay? The amount is too large. This is millions billions tri- it's like more than it's like over a trillion it's like over a trillion dollars like over multiple trillions of dollars 899 trillion i don't even know if, if this is even accurate somehow it doesn't even seem possible to be honest but from what i see that's what it is i mean that's what the chart shows bro so this is just a complete scam and people are just yeah. gonna, you put your money in it, and, and it might go up. Like, look, there's money to be made in scams, bro. Don't get me wrong. There's plenty of money to be made in scams. But... All right, so I'm convinced I'm going to sell this shit. Yeah. Uh, so right now, how's it looking? Is it looking like it's going to go up or well, we down? Can look, we so can I look can at have it. a better range. Let's look at it. So, um... Let me open this bigger... It's going down. Okay, so right now we can draw. Uh, I wanted to go over a little support and resistance. This is the 15 minute. Um, it looks like it's pumping right now because of this. Look, so we'll draw a trend line here. Uh, let's start down here. And we'll put one right about here. So then it was bouncing around for a long time in this price range. Broke out. This is what we call a breakout. And then we covered it in the PDFs. Then we got another range here. Kind of bounces around a little bit. Breaks out. Got another range here. Mm, Probably like that. Breaks out. Got another range here. So it looks like there's some type of somebody's trying to make some money on this coin. Um, They're pushing the price up to try to get people like you to notice and put their money in. Because I guarantee you 100% that shit's going to just fall apart eventually. It's up 20% already over 24 hours. Uh, So somebody's inside manipulating the market. Because... Nobody is just finding this token and investing all of a sudden and bringing it up from 0.00 fucking three cents, 30% of a penny all the way up to, you know, 4x that. This is somebody on the inside trying to move the market up to try to get profits. So you are basically going to just lose your money. So I would take it out. I don't care. It's going to go up probably a little bit more. 
but this is just like very, very risky investment. Um, you're basically hoping that you can make enough profit before they sell off on you. And basically, if you don't, then it's just going to drop right back down to zero. I mean, it's going to it's going to drop so quick, you might not even be able to catch it. So that's why I don't consider uh, keeping tokens in that because it can go like this, right? So check this out. So it did something similar here. Uh, let me remove the drawings. So it did something similar here where it started to move up, moved up, up and up. And then within like 12 hours, it just tanked below where it started, right? So that's what they just keep doing. They just pump the price and then dump it. And then it just goes lower and nobody's doing anything. It just keeps going lower and people are selling. People are selling. So now it's going up again. Right? It's definitely, I mean, I will guarantee it here. Let's draw a Fibonacci. This is a little more advanced, but. Right here. <clears throat> so this is where the buy started this is where the buy capped so basically what you're looking for is if this is going to keep continuing to go forward you're going to want some type of you know um how do I explain this? You're going to want it to bounce off of this and keep going up. If it breaks, if it comes down and it just breaks through here, it's just done. Like it's done, done. It's not coming back up. It's just going to keep going down. Um, we can draw a uh, trend line and I'll show you. So let's take this away where I'm going to leave it up, but we'll draw a trend line and we'll start it here and I'll say we'll go like this. So the price is moving that direction. Uh, basically we need it to stay above this trend line to keep going. Now, most likely it's going to drop back down. Now, if it bounces around here, comes down and bounces and goes back up, then we do have some bullish signal. Um, but bro, there's so many other cryptos that you can put your money into that's safer. That's just not a scam. Yeah. This, this is a scam. So bro. you're literally trying to make money off of a scam is basically what I'm saying. Yeah, to say. exactly. Yeah. And I got like 2,500 in that shit right Get now. Get that shit out right now, bro. <laughs> All of it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you did. I'm glad you told me that, bro. Never hide that shit from I'm me. Gonna, I'm going to take that shit out and put it on fucking Casper right the fuck now. Yeah, put it in Casper because there's a glass <laughs> ceiling. Now, there is a chance that this thing could skyrocket. This is the thing is these things go crazy. Like, you don't know what's going to happen. It could skyrocket from here to fucking $40 in like 10 minutes and then drop back down. You might not be watching it. You might have made that $2,000 into 500000 and not even caught it because of how manipulating that, that this crypto is. You see what I'm saying? So if you were to, what you can do, actually, instead of just selling it all out right now, is this this is what you can do and i'll tell you if the price change it to the one hour if the price drops below okay let me look at the uh, what i drew up if the price drops below this 0 0.085 yeah but you'd still be losing a shitload of money here let's look I was gonna say set a limit sell order 
Uh, investment, you said 2500 The price, what what was the price you bought it at? Dude, I'm down right now. Yeah, get, get, just get your money out. How much are you down? 500 Holy shit, get your money out, bro. And I was down 2000 when it went to its low. That's why it's up right now, so I, I might as well take it out and take a 500 loss. Than uh, twenty five hundred loss. Yeah, you're gonna lose. You're gonna lose half, if not all of it. I mean, it's it's right. easily. This is the one hour chart, bro. This so. This is from the eighth. Today's the seventeenth. Nine days ago, it was at twenty percent of one penny. Yeah, I was down. I was at a thousand dollars, and finally recouped to twenty five hundred. So now I'm down five hundred. I initially put 3000 in here. In it. Oh, my God, bro. <laughs> this is like just... They, that, that's, this is exactly what I just said that they're doing to people. They're going to just take your money, bro. Get it out. I don't care if it goes up to 500 Just get it out. It's not worth the risk. All right. Well, yeah, I'm going to do that today. Thank um, you, bro. Yeah, absolutely. I hope that this kind of, I'm really trying to show people how to research and invest because we see this big, shiny new object or, or even old one. And we see that, oh, it's up 20% today or, or something like you see these real estate videos. This is all marketing. It's all just for them to make you what they're doing. It's psychology, bro. This is a great idea for a video for me to make later. Let me make a note. It's psychology, bro. They're making these videos about whatever real estate. Nothing has to do with fucking crypto, bro. It doesn't. They're just trying to get people's eyes. So whatever people are looking for on YouTube, they can get the analytics. And they can say, oh, um... People are looking a lot at real estate right now. Let's talk about real estate and then somehow relate it to our cryptocurrency. And then we'll get eyeballs on our channel, right? The whole goal on YouTube is to get eyeballs on your channel. When you see 99% down all time from the high or from the launch or from where, from the high, yeah. That is a complete and shut utter if you said this to cg bro he would slap the shit out of you <laughs> he would slap you with his dick bro yo facts <laughs> so i'm saving yo, you the bro, disparity i gotta go i gotta go i gotta go jump on my son uh, i'm gonna send you a message in a little bit okay cool we didn't get to do much trading view but i did hope that this helped for you so we can do more i'm available for the next six hours then I go to work and I'm all right. on all night tonight. So if you want to do more, just let me know. But my time is you available whenever you whenever you are. All right, Broski. Thank you. Bye. All right, my man. Peace.